Hi friends! Today we will learn more about various properties of matter. So let's get started. Solubility. Any substance we dissolve in a liquid is called solute and in the liquid in which we dissolve it called solvent. Solubility is a property of a matter to dissolve in a liquid. Like we can dissolve coffee in milk or water. So here, coffee is solute and milk or water is solvent. We can dissolve sugar in water or milk. So here, Sugar is solute, and water or milk is solvent. Now, let's learn more about solubility. Solubility is a quantitative term. A substance is said to be soluble if more than 0.1 gram of that substance dissolves in 100 ml of solvent. Solubility is measured in terms of the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a solvent at equilibrium. Now let's learn what is saturated solution. Take a glass of water. Now dissolve a spoon of salt in it. It dissolves completely. Now keep on adding salt and dissolve in it until the time no more salt dissolves in it. Now. The resulting solution you have is a saturated solution of salt and water. That is, no more salt can be dissolved in this water now. Now let's learn another property. It is clarity. Clarity can be of three types, transparent, translucent, or opaque. Let's first learn about transparency. An object like this is called transparent, as you can see through the object completely. Materials like air, water, and clear glass are called transparent. When light encounters transparent materials, almost all of it passes directly through them. Translucent objects. This object is not transparent, but translucent, as you can partly see through them, not clearly. Materials like frosted glass and some plastics are called translucent. When light strikes translucent materials, only some of the light passes through them. Therefore, we cannot see clearly through them. Objects on the other side of a translucent object appear fuzzy and unclear because translucent objects are semi-transparent. Some ultraviolet rays can go through them. This is why a person behind a translucent object can get a sunburn on a sunny day. Next are opaque objects. Most materials are opaque as you cannot see through them at all. When light strikes an opaque object, none of it passes through them. Materials such as wood, stone, and metals are opaque. Now, let's learn another property. Here we have viscosity. Viscosity is a property of fluids describing their internal resistance to flow. For example, take a glass of water and let it flow. It will flow fast. And take a glass of honey now and let it flow. It will flow very slow as compared to water. So, water has low viscosity or it's fast moving, whereas honey has high viscosity or slow moving. Here are some examples of liquids having low viscosity, water, 
soft drinks, juices, and milk. All these are having low viscosity. That is, they are fast-moving liquids. Now, let's have examples of liquids having high viscosity. Honey, paint, yogurt are some of the examples of liquids which has high viscosity. That is, they are slow-moving liquids. Now, let's learn another property. Mass. It is the measure of amount of matter in an object. Mass is measured in milligrams, grams, kg, and tons. To measure mass of something, we use a pan balance. Mass of an object remains the same, whether it's lying on any part of the earth or even the moon, unlike weight, which is different on different places of earth. Now let's learn about another property, which is weight. Weight measures the effect that gravity has on mass. It's usually measured in Newton. Weight of an object is different on Earth than on the moon due to different effect of gravity. Weight of an object is different on the equator and poles due to different effect of gravity on different parts of Earth. If a person is having mass 100 kg, then his weight on Earth can be 980 Newton, whereas on the Moon it will be 162.2 Newtons. Now let's learn another property, and it is volume. Volume measures the amount of space an object takes up, and it is measured in cubic centimeters in case of solids, and liters in case of liquids. For example, volume of this bottle is one liter. Volume of this mug is 250 milliliters. Volume of this box is 25 cubic centimeters. Now, let's learn another property, and it is density. Density measures the amount of matter in a given space. Here is an example. Foam, wood, and iron are holding the same amount of space. But foam will have the least amount of matter in given space. Wood will have more amount of matter than foam. And iron will have the maximum amount of matter in given space. So we say foam has least density, wood has density more than that of foam, and iron has the maximum density out of the three types of matter. If an object has a lower density than water, it will float. If an object has higher density than water, it will sink. Now, let's have another property of matter and it is temperature. Temperature is a measurement of how much heat a material or object has. A thermometer is used to measure temperature. In science, when water has changed the state from liquid to solid, it is described as the freezing point. When water has changed state from solid to liquid, it is described as melting point. So friends, today we learned a lot of properties of matter. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.